Hi guys, what is going on and welcome to today's YouTube video. In today's video, we are going to discuss the current range that Bitcoin is trading in. We are going to discuss multiple potential trade ideas that I'm currently looking at on the Bitcoin price. We are going to look at potential long ideas from lower prices and we are also going to look at potential short ideas from higher prices. If you guys do like this content, please make sure to smash up the like button and also subscribe to this YouTube channel. Let's dive straight into it because we can see that after this massive move to the downside, we first of all created a huge wick, which I still do believe that it should get filled at least a little bit more if we are going to take the 50% level of this wick. We can see that we did fill it for 50%, but since it is such a big wig, I do kind of expect us to maybe fill it for 100% as well. And we can actually see that the 50% level of this wig got slightly front run, which means that this might be an inducement of the 50% fill of that wig before a potential reversal. But more interesting currently on the Bitcoin price is that after this move to the downside, Bitcoin is starting a consolidation area. Now, a lot of people think that sideways movement after a strong move down is bearish. I actually think that sideways movements after a strong move to the downside are potentially bullish reaccumulation before reversal. And sideways movements after a push to the upside are potential bearish distribution before a reversal to the downside. Okay, but important is that these sideways movements need to occur within a liquidity pool. Now, for Bitcoin, I've already explained this a few times this week in my videos and streams. We have a liquidity pool that was building up below these lows over here. And beneath these lows, we also had this massive imbalance on the four hourly time frame. And exactly within this imbalance, exactly beneath those lows, beneath that sell side liquidity, that is where Bitcoin is currently moving sideways which is potentially bullish in my opinion. But the fact is that we are still trading in a range. Now, how can we determine the range high and the range low? The range high is fairly simple, right? We have this hour one level over here that we created and basically a little higher we have this week and that week got respected perfectly to the cent accuracy over here as well. Important to identify a range is that you need three different pivots. You need either two pivots at the top and one at the bottom or two at the bottom and one at the top. Now we have two pivots at the top. The question is whether our pivot at the bottom, so that also means that it will be our range low, is this low over here or this low over here. And now I will explain to you guys why I prefer to take this low over here as a range low and this as a deviation, deviation slash sweep of the range low. First of all, this is the first low that we put in after this bounce over here. And this is the low that we put in before we start moving proper sideways, right? That's the first sign that it's my range low. But more importantly is, in order to identify a range, you need to know if the mid range is being respected. So if we are going to take the mid range, and if we are going to go from swing high to swing low, and we use this as our mid range, we can see the respect of the mid range, right? We can see support, resistance, huge resistance, 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 resistance twice in a row, Perfect support and right now perfect resistance. So we can see mid range is being respected beautifully to the dollar accuracy every single time. Now, if we are going to use this as our range low, we can see that there is zero respect of the mid range. Look at this chart. The only area where I see some respect of the mid range is this area over here. So by identifying the mid range and seeing if the mid range is being respected, you can identify what low and what highs to use as your range high and your range low. So right now we have a pretty clean range. We can see that we have seen a deviation of the range low, but we haven't seen a deviation of the range high. I do expect Bitcoin to keep chopping around a little bit longer. We can see over here, we have some liquidity 
building up beneath these two lows, right? These two lows are definitely looking pretty juicy to get taken out. Maybe today, maybe over the weekend. There are two potential trade scenarios that I'm looking to trade on the Bitcoin price. Either we are going to test the range low over here and we are going to see if it holds and we are going to push towards the range high. Why is this a valid trade idea? Because there's still a lot of untapped liquidity above the range high over here, right? We also have this imbalance over here, as you can see, that provides even more liquidity. And we have these equal highs and we just basically have an unswept range high. As long as this range high is unswept, if we are going to test the range low before we test the range high, we have a valid long idea towards that range high. The other trade scenario would be to get a test of the range high, to start deviating above that range high, reclaim back inside of the range, short over here, invalidation over here, first target this range low, eventually this low, and eventually this low. Two potential trade ideas. It is very, very simple. Trade the range until it breaks. You can also take some trades around the mid range, for example, over here. This could have been a little bit of a trade idea, maybe with your stop over here, but in my opinion, it's not really worth the RR. So I prefer to take some trades around the range low and around the range high. Personally, with the trade around the range low, also try to wait for some confirmation. You can also set limits, but it's definitely a little bit more risky. RR is there, idea is there, support and resistance is there, draws on liquidity are there as well. When could we see a potential flip of the trend? Once we start flipping the EMAs on the four hourly time frame, and we can see that the 100 EMA, 200 EMA, and 200 moving average are still very, very far away. We maybe get a test of the range low, pump towards the range high, EMA aligns, EMA aligns, maybe reject over here at the EMAs, get a little bit of a test over here, and then maybe we start to switch the trend to the upside. Until we switch the trend on the four hourly time frame with both market structure and also the EMA confluence, try to look for short. Do we get a test of the range high? Do we start deviating above and get back inside of the range? We have a very clean range towards the range low, towards this low, and towards this low. Do we test the range low first? We have a very clean long idea towards a draw liquidity above the range high, where we will also read as these EMAs over here on both a two hourly and four hourly time frame. Pretty clean chart to go off currently on the Bitcoin price. Like I said, I do expect some more chop over the upcoming week. Not expecting too big of a move, so try to trade the range until it breaks. If you guys do have any questions after watching this YouTube video, please let me know in the comments down below. Also, make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel and join the free Discord. The link can be found in the description down below. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll speak to you guys on Monday's video. Ciao, ciao.